What's up, everybody? It's Sparrow with a Gun here from Sleepless Night Studios, and this is episode one of Final Fantasy XV. So I had mentioned we were doing a series on this, and here we are. It is now out, so I'm doing it. Aha! So, without further ado, let's get started with a new game. I'm going to do the normal difficulty, because why not? Um... Hmm... Yeah, we probably should do tutorials so that I don't look like a complete idiot not knowing what I'm doing. Though, not really like I need a lot of help with that. I can make myself look stupid all on my lonesome. Well, that's a funky looking dog thing. Fox? Rabbit? Hey there, knocked. That's a do I know you look if I've ever seen one. You might not know me, but I know you. As a matter of fact, I've been watching you ever since something or other. This here's the old training room in the world of your dreams. Ooh. I'm gonna teach you the ins and outs of this world to help you along your journey. Along on your journey. So... Was that thing texting him? Uh, let's just go through combat tutorials. The lore... Not that I'm not a fan of lore, but I'm thinking I can kind of glean that as I go. Gladio says he'll help train you. What a pow! Alright, let's get started. Defend yourself! <laughs> no! You haven't told me how yet! Okay, so phase. Hold square to automatically evade attacks. The key is to defend slightly ahead of time. Okay. Like that? Okay, and R1 locks on. Let's practice a little more. Oh, ow! Whoops. <laughs> So you could just effectively hold the button the whole time, but you get a little bit of a, a boost or whatever. Hold circle to automatically chain attacks, tilt while attacking to change the way the combo unfolds. Alright, hold on just a minute. I need to turn the music down. It's a little loud in my headphones. Okay, that's a little bit better. Hey! Okay, so you can hold circle to just keep attacking, I guess. But if you hit from behind... Maybe? Party emoji! Woohoo! Circle behind and whack. That's how you do it. That's a blind side, I guess. Which is basically like a critical hit type thing. Attack. Okay... Parrying! Block and counter. Certain enemies' attacks can be parried. A shield will appear, signaling you to defend. After defending with square, swiftly press circle to parry. Oh, okay. I gotcha. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> Yay, Chocobo! Noctis will take heavy damage if you fail to perform the initial block. Stay on guard and be ready to defend at all times. In an, an intensive drill is available to help you hone your parrying skills. <laughs> now what? Okay, time to put all that into practice. Attack, defend, and parry your way to victory. G. Yay. Okay, I'm, I am a little perplexed as- oh, you have to hold the lock-on button, there we go. I was like, why am I not- why is the camera not, like, uh... 
Okay, that's fun. I like that. That's really good. Now you got the hang of the basics. Sweet. Say, while you're here, you want to practice warping, too. Uh, sure? Why not? I guess? Alright, warping. Alright, it's warping time! Like, morphing time? Noctis has the ability to instantly warp to where he throws his weapon. That's... handy. Lock on and warp strike. Lock on plus clicking R3 tracks and then R1 cancels. When locked on to an enemy, a blade warp becomes a warp strike. Track a target to stay locked on without holding. Ah! Okay. So, if I lock onto him, and then click the stick... Oops. Yeah, I got that part. Give me a lot. Oh, I guess I have to move. Point warp. In addition to warping strike or warp striking enemies, Noctis can also point warp to specific locations. Okay, so when you see the indicator like that, then you can... Well, that's cool! Point warp and then warp strike. While suspended from a point warp spot, Noctis will automatically lock onto a target. Huh. Well, that's nifty. Okay, so that's all taking out MP. Warping and phasing consumes MP, which is shown as a blue gauge above Noctis's head, after point warping, as well as on the bottom right. If Noctis uses MP into deficit, he enters stasis, which severely limits his abilities. Keep an eye on MP and use it. Use items to keep it replenished. Oh, there's a cover mechanic. Take cover behind large objects like rocks and pillars to recover both HP and MP. Well, that's interesting. Huh. Oh, wait, no. Cover. Huh. Oh, I have to hold it. I guess. And then while I'm holding it- Ooh, that's a nifty little trick! Okay. Performing a point warp instantly restores all MP. Take note of markers in case you need ris respite. Respite. Whatever. However you're supposed to say that. Try taking down Gladius with warp strikes alone. Review warping controls on the- yeah, 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 yeah. So, whoops! So, point warp. Okay, and dodging... Uh, dodging also causes you to lose MP, so that's something that you'd probably have to balance. Is kind of your dodge versus... Um, dodge versus warping maneuvers. Nice! Well, this is fun! I'm, I'm liking this. I think you got warping down pat. I think so too! While we're at it, what saber review resistances? Um, I guess go for broke, right? This episode might be a little bit longer than my uh, continual ones that I'll end up doing daily and whatever because uh, this is the first one. So, try striking Gladius a few times. Ow! Oh, no, I didn't mean to cover. Okay, so I'm getting the little 12 thing and stuff. I'm guessing that's... Yeah, he doesn't seem to be feeling it, so I'm probably using... 
When striking an enemy, the damage value may appear in different colors. Orange indicates increased damage, while purple indicates reduced. Enemies can resist or can be resistant or weak to different weapons. Swords do not seem to work very well against Gladius, so you will want to try another weapon. Ouch! Okay. So he's not resistant to that. Ouch. Noctis has obtained a javelin, a type of polearm. Try equipping it. Main menu and gear. Change weapon category. Okay. Equip Noctis and his friends with weapons, accessories, outfits, and techniques. Noctis can equip up to four weapons, while his friends can only equip two. An icon legend can be viewed from the main menu with triangle. Okay, so I have two-handed sword, broadsword, daggers. Uh, where's the javelin? There we go. Oh, and each one has their own attack damage stuff and resistances. And okay, this is kind of cool. Like it, like it, like it, like it. Though so that. Uh... Oh, okay, so he's weak to javelin strikes then. I mean, that makes sense. That's what they. That's why they gave it to me. Still, that's pretty cool, though. Okay, what do, what do you got for me? Spells! To use magic, you have to equip it like a weapon. Here's a spell to get you started. It's still kind of freaking me out a little bit that that little fox thing is texting me. Noctis has obtained the spell Fire. Kind of the same thing, I guess. Uh, let's get rid of the broadsword. Pull arms, where's spells? There we go. Um, swap weapons to the spell and then circle to cast. Okay. Ooh. Now, why didn't that use any MP though? Pretty cool. In a don't burn me alive, please sort of way. <laughs> Prime spell, move, aim, release, cast. Magic is extremely powerful and destroys indiscriminately. Take care that your allies are not caught in the devastation. Enemies can be re resistant or weak to different elements. Gladius is currently weak against fire. When a weakness is struck, damage values appear in orange. Right, we got that. Noctis cannot warp strike while wielding a spell or machinery. You must first switch to another type of weapon. Okay. Checking resistances. Pause option combat. Weight mode emphasizes strategic elements of combat. Engage weight mode and lock on to an enemy to analyze it. Here's some elemental energy you can use to craft spells. Okay. Same old tricks won't work on Gladio's Gladio this time. Find out what he's weak to and then let him have it. Alright, so I need to... Elemency. Craft spells using the elemental energy you've collected, then equip magic flask to use them in the field. Adjust the amount of energy or add a catalyst when crafting to increase the spell's potency or add an effect such as poison or multicast. Review your history to quickly craft more of the same spells. Okay. So for this one, we want to put in of it, I guess. Okay, so we did... We're gonna do Blizzard here, I guess? But, what I'm trying to remember... Ouch! Okay, there was... How do you go into that mode they were talking about? Ah, well, whatever. Oh, I see. You can kind of move it around. I don't know, though. 
or controls thing? Combat. Nope. Controls. Uh, techniques, tactical, summon, lock on, sprint. So, is it. I'm trying to figure out how to go into that mode. I don't see a way to do that, though. Oh, that's on cooldown. That's how it works. Okay. Okay, I gotcha. So, spells are on cooldown, not MP. That's kind of different, actually. Oh, that was nice. Just kind of, like, swatted me out of the way. Oh, wait, it does use MP. Never mind. I'm an idiot. So it uses MP and then it's on a cooldown. That's the, that's the trick. Whoops. I don't want to kill him with a spell, but... Alright. Boom! That's pretty awesome. You got the hang of it now. I think so. Last but not least, how about practicing some teamwork? Sure. Why not? Go for broke. You rang? Link strikes. Noctis' friends engage in combat automatically. If they are nearby when Noctis performs a parry or blindside using a sword, greatsword, or polearm, they may join in for a link strike. And I'm guessing that's what that um, bar on the side is. <laughs> or that might be like an ultimate move. Okay, so when behind an enemy, so I need to. To get oh there we go okay so that's kind of like an auto thing that's cool ah Nox's friends have unique techniques they perform at his command performing a technique depletes the tech bar which fills gradually in battle try having prompto perform piercer all right Ponto, you're up! Oops. Follow-up. A successful technique creates an opening for Noctis. Press circle when prompted to follow up another- Okay, that's what we just did. Spend AP in the Ascension menu to learn new techniques and put their myriad effects to use in battle. But alrighty then. Danger! Ow! Oh, you were my friend! When Noctis runs out of HP, he enters a state of danger. That's This not only impair, impairs, I thought I was going to say impales, his abilities, it also decreases his maximum HP over time and when he takes damage. When his max HP falls to zero, the game is over. Ah. Noctis recovers from danger with time or when a friend comes to rescue to, to his rescue. Blah. So it's kind of like being downed type of thing. Gotcha. And this is probably the same, but reverse. Friends also fall into a state of danger when they run out of HP. Unlike Noctis, however, they do not automatically recover and need to be rescued. It looks like, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it might pull from... Recovering from danger does not restore maximum HP. Okay, so the gray is the max and the white is the current, I think. Characters can still use items while in danger. If an item targets only one person, select two. Use elixirs to restore Noctis and Prompto's max HP. Okay. 
So if I hold, all right. So we got elixirs. Prompto. Got it. Or prompto. I keep saying prompto. I don't know why. Um, elixirs and Noctis. I gotcha. Potions and elixirs lift the state of danger while restoring HP. Good to know. Now, team up with Prompto to take down Gladio Gladiolus. So, wait, I lost my arm. Oh, he's invulnerable, that's sick. Wait, how come he's invulnerable? Oops. Wrong button. Seriously, why are you invulnerable? It's not fair. I guess I'm supposed to be using his piercer mode more, I guess. Wait, did I not hit it? Crap! Oh, ow. I'm confused on his invulnerability thing. That's not even doing anything. So I guess I'm supposed to, like, have to use this kind of stuff, I think. I'm thinking. Maybe. Try this. Oh, ouch. Marco, you're up. Whew, that was rough. With your buddies at your side, you've got nothing to be afraid of. Alright, well, let's get this show on the road. Drills are also available for honing skills such as parrying and spellcasting. When you're in trouble, I'll fly to your side. It can fly? Take care now and safe travels. Well, alrighty then. Okay, in a time unknown, only a prophecy keeps hope alive in people's hearts. When darkness veils the world... The King of Light shall come. Now four brave warriors begin their journey, prepared to fight. What awaits the four, however, they do not know. Okay. Uh, where am I going? Oh, I guess we're trying to fight that thing? Oh! Hang in there, buddy! Stay down! We'll keep him busy! That's like the end. I don't think we're doing very well. The decreed hour is come. Set forth with my blessing, Prince Noctis. 
Thank you. Your Majesty. Take your leave, and go in the grace of the gods. Right. <sighs> Princes will be princes. So much for royal protocol. Not like you had to deliver a formal address. Your Highness! What now? I fear I have left too much unsaid. You place a great burden on those who would bear with you. <laughs> You're one to talk. I ask not that you guide my wayward son, merely that you remain at his side. Indeed, Your Grace. We'll see the Prince to Altissia if it's the last thing we see. Yeah, what he said. Hate to break this up, but Kor's got the motor running. Drados, he's in your hands. And another thing. Do mind your manners around your charming bride-to-be. Your Majesty as well. Try to mind yours around our esteemed guests from Niflheim. You have no cause for concern. Nor do you. Take heed. Once you set forth, you cannot turn back. You think I would? I need only know that you are ready to leave home behind. Don't know about you, but I'm ready as I'll ever be. Take care on the long road. Wheresoever you should go, the line of Lucis goes with you. Walk tall, my son. Well, we got a trophy for watching an amazingly looking cutscene, by the way. I'm just gonna throw that one out there. Gosh, this game looks so awesome. <laughs> okay, chapter one. Prince Noctus Lucius Callum. I think I'm saying all those right, sets forth from his homeland with his three-man ret retinue? Ret retinue in tow, sure. His destination, Altius, Altissia, capital of Accordo, where he will formalize the union of states the through his marriage to Lady Lunafreya of the imperial province of Tenebrae. What could possibly go wrong? I think we can forget about hitching our way there. Thought people were friendly outside the city. Yeah, you can only go so far on the kindness of strangers. <laughs> You're just gonna have to push her all the way. I've already pushed myself to the brink of death. You get up. <sighs> Come on, car isn't gonna move itself. Sheesh. I thought the car was supposed to move us. Wouldn't that be nice? Can it? Ready, steady. Push! <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. I love the music and stuff in the background. Like it's just so wah wah. <laughs> like they're a bunch of beast fighters. He's a prince, and the car broke down. Unbelievable. Not exactly a fairy tale beginning, huh, Prince Noctis? We let ourselves get carried away. Look, these things happen. Let's just hope this isn't some omen. Gladio, do me a favor. What? Push this thing by yourself. All by myself? You won't even notice if we just let go. Pronto, don't even think about it. Save some breath for pushing. Ignis, come on, time to switch. Nah, we just switched back there. And it's my turn, Noct. His turn. Oh, my hands are killing me. <laughs> you rather I kill you with mine? Easy there, tough guy. Any luck? Only a busy signal. Oh, hold the phone. Is it just me? Or was it supposed to be way closer? <laughs> I assure you, 
the map is correct. The map said Hammerhead was right there. Literally next door. Looks that way. On a map of the world. <laughs> I love the stand by me in the background. That's awesome. <sighs> the world's a big old place. Filled with wonders. Uh, tell that to my legs. You guys even pushing? <laughs> Hard as I can. With everything I've got. <laughs> I love that whole we could just let go he'd never know that was great Hammerhead Outpost. Hey there, y'all kept a girl waiting. Now, which one's the prince? Aha! Hello, your highness. Congrats on your wedding. Not hitch just yet. <laughs> Lady Luna Freya's groom to be here in Hammerhead. Apologies for taking so long. <laughs> you best save your apologies for Papa. Well, that makes you. Cindy. Sid's grease monkey granddaughter. Roll her in while I'm still young. Didn't your daddy tell you? She's a custom classic, not some beat up old clunker. It's a really nice car. Prince Noctis. Uh, yeah. Prince. Like they took your old man and kicked the dignity out of him. What? Huh? You got a long way to go, son. And that slack jaw's getting you nowhere fast. She's gonna take a while. Y'all get her in and run along. Y'all heard him. Let's get moving. Right this way. Now we play the waiting game. Uh, never liked that game. <laughs> never any good at it either. Okay, so now we're actually in control of something. Getting our first look at... I forget, I think it's... I forget the name of the of the place, the kingdom that you're in. Like, es Esso or Eso or something? I forget. I guess we're supposed to talk to her. Y'all ain't never been out this way before, have you? Go on, have a look around. This'll make sure y'all don't get lost. Ah. Visit the local tipster to gather well, information. Might as well make good use of the extra time. Speak to tipsters to learn about the area and update the map. Oh, they got Ebony out here. Oh, Ignis is gonna flip. Wait, oh, uh, what's a gill? Wait, what? Where's Prompto? Okay, that's refuel. Where's Ignis? Prompto was saying something about. Someone. <laughs> what is this? Clueless munitions. Hey, oh, it's a shop. What do you after this time? Earn gill by completing hunts or by selling trinkets you find. Okay. What do you have on the docket? Oh, I love the little thing down at the bottom. Which, like, who who it can apply to? <laughs> the little pixel guys. That's awesome. War sword, a great sword with added heft, made to inflict stunning blows that deprive foes of their defenses. Interesting. Oh wow, it does 78 damage. Nice. I don't know if the check. I think the check means they already have it, and the jumping jacks means they can use it. Is kind of what I'm thinking. So I think Noctis looks like he can use pretty much anything, which is awesome. 
Okay. I don't have any money, so there's a really moment. No point. Knocked. We've expended the last of our funds on the repairs. I suggest we confer with Cindy. Broken down and flat broke. <laughs> Adding insult to injury. Proper Prince. Prince Noctis and his royal re retinue. I gotta look that up. Set out to set sail for the neighboring land. Blah, 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 blah. How the four friends must now find a way to earn some gill, a currency of choice outside insomnia. Okay. So. That's Hammerhead. All right. Old man's in for both after charging us that much. Yeah. Let's pay him a visit. All right, so we got the shop icon, the refuel icon, the outpost icon, the diner for food. This is a quest marker, I guess. She ain't gonna be ready for a while. Y'all need something? Oh, okay. Ask for a discount. Ask for a loan. Ask my friends. Uh, I guess... I don't know what this does. We're strapped for cash. Any way we could earn a little? Oh, now I get it. This must be what Papa meant when he said he was going to teach them boys a lesson. Uh-oh. Told me he ought to have y'all take care of some ornery varmints that have been causing a ruckus around here. I'd be happy to pay y'all for your services if you're up to the challenge. How about it? I mean... Old man's got his eye on you, Noct. Show him what you got. Earn 10 AP. Spend ability points to power up Noctis and his friends. Acquire new abilities on the Astral Sphere from the Ascension menu. Okay. Activate nodes on the Astral Sphere and acquire new abilities to aid you on your journey. Earn AP by leveling up, completing quests, and strategic ops, or by impressing friends in conversation. Interesting. All right, good gravy, great balls of fire. We got combat, teamwork, stats, exploration, weight mode, which I haven't figured out how to actually use yet. Magic, nexus that refines them. Okay, that's self-explanatory, I guess. Recovery, curative power, activate these nodes to improve your array of restorative options. Increase HP rate while hanging after point warp. Boost an allies, allies' defense after taking out, taking them out of danger. Raise HP and MP recovery while in cover. Techniques. Tech strike. Add to the tech bar when Noctis lands attacks. That might be useful. Deal heavy damage to a single enemy with a powerful greatsword slash depletes two tech bars. Bring all allies together in stalwart defense, rescue from danger, and restores HP quickly. That could be useful. Draw an enemy with a wide area with a firearm, weakens demons, depletes tech bars by one. That's not a bad idea for starting out here. What's combat looking like? Reduce MP cost of phasing. Boost damage dealt when unscathed during chain attacks. Phase through an enemy's attacks without using MP by pressing square at the last second. I don't have enough for that one, though. To take a step in midair after attacking. One time only. Hmm. Boost Link Strike. Powerful counterattack. Automatically scan most enemies for weakness at the onset of battle. That wouldn't be a bad option, I guess. Uh... Increase HP of each party member by twice the number of levels gained. Okay. Equip two accessories. Increase AP gain from making camp, catching fish, take photos in battle, extend status, boost time. Oh, from meals eaten in camp, gain AP for winning races, long trips. Boost damage inflicted by scanned enemies' elemental weakness. Warp ambush. During weight mode, warp strike an enemy not targeting Noctis to increase likelihood of breaking its appendage. Hmm. Uh, 
absorb more energy from elemental deposits. Enhance potency by 10 when crafting spells. Interesting. I think for now I'm going to go with this one. Because that seems like it could boost our survivability by the by basically if anyone's in danger I could save up my team bar and have them do... Concentrate ally attacks on foes with devastating death blow strikes. Imbue Noxus' weapon with the element his target is weakest to. Ooh! That's a cool one. I like that one. But don't go running around after dark. The demons are liable to rip y'all to shreds. Here, this ought to be enough for a place to stay. Just between us, though. Don't tell Papa. Okay. So, we got a quest as well as a little bit of capital. Um... I also think I got something. Attire. Oh, accessories. There we go. A bangle forged of bronze increases max HP slightly. Okay. So I guess I'm just supposed to head over to that. <laughs> nope, not Grand Theft Auto. Got it. <laughs> I had to try. Well, let's light this candle. Looks like we found our first targets. Ready, knocked. The threat meter displays when an enemy detects your presence. Conjure weapons to attack. Hold circle to blitz the enemy with consecutive. Yeah. We did the tutorial, so we know Got about this. Got all those at your disposal. Use them. Yeah. Oh, I missed that. Fred. Watch the enemy's movements. Don't yep. break the side. Yeah. Whoa. Just flipped over somebody. Any problems? Don't worry about me. Excellent work. Nice. On we go. Oh, there's three sets of them. I thought there was three enemies. I was like, wait, we killed three enemies. Um, Alright, so click the left stick to sprint. I don't know if that uses MP or not or anything. Oop! That's weird. Return to rest point. I just clicked the right stick and it went to that mode. Oh, okay, so the touchpad is your menu. The right stick is your map. That's different. I wasn't expecting that. Um, I hadn't really mentioned it before, but just as an FYI, I am um, running on the PS4. I think it's PS4 and PC, I think. So I'm running the PS4 version in case the X and square and all that wasn't painfully obvious. Um, oh, wait, what? Ah, crap. Haven't you ever heard? The best offense is a good defense. Haha! Uh -huh. Oh! Nice! On the same page. Yeah. I think I just dodged that one. Watch yourself, knocked. I know. Nice! Going for it! Uh huh? You like that? <laughs> oh, that was kind of cool. I forgot that if you do a blindside, they just kind of jump in anyway. Ouch! Stop it! Whoa! I never miss! What was that one? Alright! We'll be done in no time. Um, so yeah. Get on with it. I am running on the, the PS4 version, and I wanted to bring up, I mentioned a couple times that the game looks really awesome, because, I mean, so, uh, it does. Where are we headed, anyway? Nowhere until the repairs are done. Then we head for Golden Key. Then after that, we hop a boat, and before you know it, lover boy's hitched. Wait for car repairs, then wedding bells in the air. <laughs> Got it. Um, 
But even though the game looks really awesome, the first episode may look a little bit different because um, in order to get it out the same day, I ended up using Almost a there. preview system when I was Give rendering it, which isn't terrible, but it does lower the, uh, the quality a little bit. I forget to lock on to people to do the strike thing. There we go. They knocked! Warp strike to catch him off guard! I thought I blocked that. I, okay, nope, did not block that one. Here goes nothing! Don't wear yourself out like that. Take cover and Ouch! Okay, when Noctis runs out of MP, he enters stasis. He cannot phase or blade warp until he recovers. Take cover or point warp. Possible even in stasis to high ground or recover MP. This one's yeah. just for you! Or you can do what I'm doing, which is basically be stupid. Keep fighting. Um, let's find cover then, I guess. Where's cover? Oh, there we go. I think I'm in cover. Yeah. Let's wrap up this rumble and get some ease. Alright, there we go. Oh. Outstanding, Nolan. Yep. Nice. Nice. Mission complete. Who could this be? Hello? Actually, we just finished. That's great, cause I got one more hunt for y'all. <laughs> Only this time, it's for a person. Fella named Dave went off, and we ain't heard from him since. Reckon he staked out a spot in an old shack nearby. Old shack? Uh, oh, got it. We'll take a look. All right. So, what did Cindy say? Needs us to find some Dave guy. He went missing? Not missing. Said he's holed up in that shack. <clears throat> Food spots use ingredients for cooking. Item name is shown on the map. What's this? Mutant dual horn sighting. Codename Bloodhorn, characteristics Red Tusk, extremely violent, outstanding bounty on Saber Tusks in the area. So, so he's like, Get out of here! You okay? We are now. Spoke too soon. I am not into wildlife. <laughs> I'm not into wildlife. Stop. Start killing. Whew. A little crazy in here. You're on fire today. What can I do? Let's go. Woo! Hey, <laughs> nice. what about the shack over there? Oh, we're like looking at different shacks, I guess. I was thinking this was the only one. Apparently not. Now, what is the P here for? Come on, come on. Parking spot. Ah. So that's probably like a fast travel, not a fast travel, but like a, a lock point for your car. You can bring it over there and that's where it'll end up, more than likely. Not yet. We've got a plan. Warp to the windmill. Okay. Huh. What are we looking at? This creature is known as a saber tusk. Friends propose strategies to gain an advantage in combat. Follow their strategies to earn AP. Blue markers indicate points you can warp to instantaneously. Locate the blue marker on the windmill and point warp to it. It skewers prey with its tusks, extracting gain from the safety and comfort of burrows. Noctis will quick quickly recover HP and MP while hanging around... Blah, 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 blah. Hanging from high ground. Yeah, we were, we knew all this. That's a bit heartless. Yeah, don't think we'll be friendly. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so what? I'm like drawing. Whoa! I guess I'm like drawing them all. Ow! I'm getting torn up over here. Oh, hey, let's. Oh, uh, wait, no. I'm I was gonna say, let's try that, uh. Knocked. Yep. Oh, yep. Let's, let's try this thing. Don't die on me. Whoa! Whoa! What did I just do? That was not the move that I meant to use. That was awesome, but not what I meant to do. Was it Gladius that did that, uh, that I equipped that move for? Hold up. Uh, techniques. Yeah, it's Ignis. Wait. Regroup is the ability. So how come that's not... Around here. Under techniques, then. Hey, hmm. who's out there? That's weird. Well, and look who's in here. The man of the hour. Dave, right? <laughs> Been looking for you. Yeah. Didn't mean to cause y'all any trouble. I've been stuck here on account of my sprained ankle. Yeah, something funny about them varmints. I gave them hell, but couldn't finish the job. Still one mean mud about. Well, y'all don't look much like hunters, but what do you say? Put that puppy to rest for me? Do it for free. Let's try for a cut of the bounty, maybe? Sure, we'll do it. Well, for the right price. Well, Y'all got guts, that's for sure. Let me tell you where I last saw them. Magic flask. Phew. For a second I thought you were gonna forget to ask for cash. <laughs> I mean, that is kind of why they're out here doing this stuff, is to try and get money, so... It would be kind of counterproductive to just ignore it. It would be wise to rest up before we set out. A formidable foe awaits. Prepare for this encounter by resting at the nearby haven. Ignis will cook a status-boosting meal for the party. Okay. In that case, let's find a spot to make camp. The hunters are really out in full force around here, huh? So they're the new crowns guard or something? What is this? Similar, though technically a civilian outfit. They've definitely seen a lot more action than we have. Blackstone uh, Guard. Is it cool that we rock Grounds Guard outfits? Be worse not to. They made them especially for us. Even got a sweet insignia on them. In the Crowns Guard, your attire identifies you. So wear it with pride. Alright, so we're running really long on time. Like I said, this one was going to be a little bit longer because I knew it was going to take a minute to get started. But um, with that said, we're going to wrap things up here for this episode, I think. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.